Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be talking about a very specific phenomenon which occurs in lead acid batteries known as sulfation. As discussed in our previous video, when the electrodes of a battery are fully covered in lead sulfate, it indicates that the battery is fully discharged. This sulfate formation is reversed when the battery is charged again. But when the battery is kept in the discharged state for a very long period of time, the lead sulfate crystals which are deposited on the electrodes undergo a change in their crystal lattice. The amorphous lead sulfate changes into stable crystalline lead sulfate. This crystal formation impedes recharging of the battery. The sulfate deposits ultimately expand and crack the plates, thus destroying the cell. Because of this, a major part of the battery pack is unable to supply current. This leads to an overall reduction in capacity. The lead sulfate crystals also block the pores of the electrodes and reduce the flow of electrolyte through the electrodes. However, sulfation can be avoided by charging the battery immediately after discharge as this reduces the dwell time of the lead sulfate crystals on the electrodes. It can also be avoided by discharging the battery fully and capping the discharge limit but this reduces the capacity of the battery. Some battery manufacturers include pulse regulators along with the battery. Electric pulse of low power, high frequency and voltage are applied to battery terminals. This causes rhythmic resonance of the plates, thus causing the crystal deposits to split and the sulfate to return to the electrolyte solution. That's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Bye.